my name is Maya Songbird from San Francisco, California, and I am here to talk about my life story of being fat shamed, fat phobia, and how it's impacted my life. I believe I'm the girl with such a big imagination that I never knew that I was fat or what fat is or what fat, how fat can stop you, how people are terrified of fat people like they're terrified of clowns or if a fat person feels attractive in a certain outfit it's always going to be someone who's going to say they're not attractive because they don't look a certain way and that certain way is the only way you're supposed to look as a person especially a woman it's like a dreaded situation you see women post on their social media networks they'll say i feel fat someone posted that on social media and i just felt well geez i I am fat <laughs> and I find like a lot of women, you know, complimenting me and applauding me and appreciating me for what I do as, as far as not being able, afraid to express myself and embracing my body. Um, it's almost as if they're still in the back of their mind, the subconscious programming that says, but this is wrong. I walk into a room, everybody's looking at me. They're like, oh, there she is, you know? in my body there's no body privacy on this planet everybody is just kind of prying because there's this one body standard and it and it varies for all different colors of women you know like so this race you got to have this body you know what i mean this race you got to have this body and here i am boxy big back small butt big tummy big thighs i have huge thighs and we live in a society that's going to tell you all of those things and men enforce it i find that a lot of women tell me that their mom shame them will shame them like my mom has made comments about my body about like you shouldn't wear that you know what i mean as a woman you you got to do this and another woman will tell you you got to wear a bra you know and oh what is she doing i find myself a lot of women saying what is she doing she is wrong she is wrong women body shame me the most and I never would think that because I feel like, hey, we're women. And it also might be a big girl, too, that will see me and say, what is she doing? Why is she so confident? It's like you're walking around in a visible body that is so disturbing to people that they have to cut you down to make them feel better, knowing that one day you're going to eventually suck it up and lose all this weight so that people can love you you can be loved you're now a lovable person and that doesn't add up because it's like what about all these other attributes i bring to the planet i mean i'm colorful look at me i'm like the sunshine it's like telling the sunshine that it needs to go on a diet to look like the moon when the moon phases like the moon can be skinny the moon can be fat you know i want to be like the moon because the moon can do whatever it wants to do but if you tell the sun that it has to lose weight it's like that's what it feels like every day on this planet walking around. I bring so much happiness, but yet because of my size, it's abnormal. It's taboo. I can't exist. I got to be discovered but kept secret because I don't fit the example of what a woman's body is supposed to be. Now let's talk about my back fat. Like I wasn't born with a skinny back, I feel. We all know babies have back fat, like the baby fat or whatever, but... It feels like everybody always targets the roles of your body as a woman. They're like, look at you have this role and you have that role and you have this role in your back. And my God, what are you going to do with all those roles and those cellulites and those ripples in your body? And everybody wants for you to not have those. Like who invented that? Like who said that you can have those? Like how come you can't walk up to me and squeeze me like the Pillberry Doughboy? You know? The biggest body manipulation, the biggest business is plastic surgery because so many women hate their bodies. You don't have a person with Kim Kardashian clout that is in a fat body. At the end of the day, I go and I lose all this weight. I go get a tummy tuck. I get a butt job, a boob lift. Now I'm everything you wanted me to be. And you find some other reason that you don't love me. You say, oh, you're black. <laughs> What you gonna do now that you did all of that? You gotta go fix the fact that you're black or you gotta fix the fat fact that, you know, your nose looks funny or your, your eyes, one eye is bigger than the other. Fat women are married, are in love, 
are doing activities. They're working out on their terms. They're doing what works for their bodies. And no one's able to tell them differently. And there you have it. And we will not have this conversation again on planet Earth. You will get it together and you will stop harassing fat girls. These coins they sound.